Hi, everybody. We're live. Happy Friday. Today, we're going to be talking about branding. And since I know that we have around 200 new subscribers, welcome to the Friday Bean. I'm Starla. I'm Mark. <clears throat> and I'm the CEO of YouTube. And he's the CEO of YouTube. So today, we're going to be covering branding in like five minutes, though the stream isn't five minutes, which means we're going to do as much branding in tiny little five minute windows as possible. Basically, what we're going to be doing today is you're going to be giving us suggestions for like things that you could sell. It'll be really fun if you can make it silly for us. And we're going to try to brand a shop in five minute increments based on what you've told us. And what we want to teach you guys is that it doesn't need to take you weeks and weeks and weeks to come up with good branding, to come up with a professional banner, to come up with something that is crisp and clean. And yeah, you don't have to try that hard. Exactly. <clears throat> it's, it's not, a, some people like get so hung up on it that their shops take months for them to get branded and it doesn't have to be like that. So today we're going to do it in a fun way. Um, but we'll give it a few minutes for everybody to get online because sometimes YouTube doesn't send notifications. If you are watching the replay and you don't want to hang out and wait, zip ahead about five minutes. Let's see. Tina said, Mark Tuddy reminds me of Pac-Man. It's supposed to be like stars, like space. It's all, it's all, it's all like retro space themed. Polka dotty. Um, we're going to be, we just ate, like we ate as fast as we could. And we came downstairs because Mark has, he is on medication right now because mm -hmm. he killed his foot yesterday <clears throat> or day, day before. before. Yeah. He, he injured his foot. He's on medication. He didn't take it because he doesn't want to be loopy for the stream. But right when we're done, he's going to take it. So if he if he acts like he's dead to the world today, it's because yeah. his foot is hurty. And we're here with our, our booby heavens coffee. Booby okay. heavens. We, um, do you guys call restaurants things that they're not called for comedic purposes? Like Bo Bob Evans, we call booby heavens. <clears throat> Um, Fazoli's, we call Fuzzy Holes. Um, what are some other ones? Dunkin' Donuts, we call Dunky Dirter. Um, what are some other funny things that we call things? I don't know off the top of my head, to be we, honest. We don't call anything by its proper name. And not, now our kid says all the things, other than Taco Bell, which we call Cracho Smell. Um, she doesn't, she gets mad at when She gets we, real mad when we do that. She gets super mad when we call Bubbers. it that. She's 10. It's fine. Come on, Bubbers. All right, let's see. Um, How's your foot? Any better? <clears throat> yeah, marginally. <laughs> All right. So we should be about good to guess. I know you guys are just weirdos. That that sounds like you're guilty of also doing We that. are weirdos. That's not, a, we're not going to deny that. So a couple little quick things that I wanted to point out. Um, this Tuesday's video that we'll be uploading around noon-ish in that time frame. Um, it is going to be about Etsy and copyright. So if you've had questions about Etsy and copyright, you're gonna wanna watch it. And if you have any copyright products in your shop, you're also gonna wanna watch it. No spoilers, I don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil what the topic is gonna be because I worked really hard on it. Yeah, but, but if you sell copyright stuff, right now is the time to stop. Yeah, you need to get it <laughs> they out. They just of made it a lot easier for you to not sell it anymore. Or sell it get, all anymore. Yeah, to get in trouble. So, so, yeah, if you sell copyright stuff, you better jump on the, the bandwagon of stopping. Yeah, feel free to wait until Tuesday if you need convincing, <laughs> but watch my video because it will it will be lifting the veil. A um, couple other little quick tidbits. We are getting ready for the Handmade Alpha Academy like re-record. We're currently in the process of finishing the scripting and the slides and everything. So current HAA students, um, just make sure that if you haven't already, go through the modules if you want the original videos. I mean, it's the same content, just with there's going to be more to it. Yeah, and it'll be rebranded and kind of reworded. Yeah, but if for any reason <clears throat> you want, like, you know, if you want that original content, go download it now. You can do that at the bottom of every module page. And then for those of you who are interested in taking my nine module Etsy course, um, that's going to be opening June 14th. And there's a link to the waiting list down below. It's only going to be open for 10 days, June 14th through the, through the 24th. So you need to make sure that you... Yeah, and we were hoping to have this done by the beginning of May, but there's there's no way. Nope. 
It's, no, it's, it's going to be crunch time. It'll be like last minute. Because I wanted to add stuff. I wanted yeah, to it looks good, though. It yeah. looks really good. Everything's being up to 4K. We're probably going to have to up our video hosting program just to be able to host all the new videos. Everything's being re-recorded with, you know, good audio. And so sorry to all y'all that had to uh, turn your speakers down. I got the audio working well, well again this week. All right. How you doing, Mark? I'm all right. <clears throat> I'm all right. It'll be better once I can take my meds. Yeah, he's he's waiting to take it. My foot hurts. It's because any of you nerds out there, it's because I played Dance Dance Revolution and I'm too old and fat for that. So Michael, I blew out my foot. Michael said Mickey D's for McDonald's, which I say, but Bernice said McDonald's is Rotten Ronnie's. Rotten Ronnie's. I and like I'm going to call it that from now on. Starbucks. I enjoy that. Starbucks is Bucky's. We go to Bucky's. People are liking the color on your complexion. It looks great, doesn't it? Partially due to the color correction yeah. I put on the camera, but it's, it's not really me. It's it's the camera. No, nah, she's pretty hot for real. Oh. Yeah. All right, are we ready to? Oh, not me, just you. <laughs> yeah, just me. Okay, fine. Um, are we ready to start our super fun branding sesh? Sure. So, what we need you guys to do is type into the chat. Try to not like. Don't give me your shop name. Don't give me like you know. I mean, you can give me what you sell, but what we want to do is take product ideas and we're going to build a shop based on your silly suggestions. Um, we're going to build the branding for that shop so you can see how quickly you can make shop branding in Canva. You can either make up a funny name, like if you give me like Rotten Ronnie's, I'll just try to decide what Rotten Ronnie's is and make up. That sounds like an Alpha's After Dark shop. It's, uh, I'll give you like <clears throat> some branding if you want to. I What did I said? Waltz Underwater Basket Weaving? Waltz Underwater Basket Weaving. Or you can just give me a product like, I don't know. I always say chunky knit blankets. Chunky so, knit blankets, yeah. So give us like a product idea or like a shop idea. Starbucks soul sucking harpies. I'll, you know what? That's a lot longer than Bucky's. Fire Queen said, so "Selling downloads is not a shop idea. That's just a type of shop." Yeah, you got to give us, give us a. You got to give us a brand, yeah. Yeah, give us a brand. All right, fancy fences. That's <clears throat> pretzel cosplay. Fan fancy fences. I like that. I like alliteration. Fire Queen said, "Old school DDR 20, 20 years ago." That's funny because, like, me too. <laughs> twenty years ago. All right. Anyway, we'll start with fancy fences. Let me move. I don't chat. know. I don't know why Canva was the thing that got grabbed. That was weird. I love. That, are, can you buy fences on Etsy? Someone go to Etsy real quick and, and fact check that because I bet you can. I bet you can. Like some artisan fences. Artisan fences. Yeah, like, I don't know. Okay. All right, so. We got Canva. Yeah, Canva.com, guys. For those who don't know, you can go to Canva and type in Etsy shop banner and um, or Etsy shop cover photo. And they've got a lot of great templates. So it is 12.09. I'll give myself a five-minute start. And oh, dude. we're not going to be strict on the time. Let's just go into photos and type in fences. Fence. 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 Okay. Fence. We need something that looks relatively nice. Yeah, like. Oh, the, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. That looks like Tiffany & Co. All right, give me fancy fences. Yeah. And then let's... This is the most white-collar suburban thing I've ever seen. And then do me a favor. Give me another F, another uppercase F. Right beside it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, this could be the logo for fancy fences. <clears throat> And like, we could just take it and I just took the mouse over there. There we go. We could just blur it out. And then put it directly in the middle behind it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, look at that. Yeah, further over to the right. It'll, there, it'll, there, it's, it's in there. Right there, right there. I don't want it right there. That's awful. It's, it's so Where? off. Where? That, that's, but it says it's in the middle. Yeah, so. but I don't want it to be directly in the middle. It needs to be in the middle of the words and the words aren't directly even. Oh. Well, it doesn't, but now it's like not, that. It's not <clears throat> equal anymore. Yeah, but it looks equal, so shush. All right. And then F's, F's parter to the right, so they need to be moved to the left in order to be centered. Now, what I also like <clears throat> to do is um, I like to always have, like, a photo of the shop owner in there. So we'll do, like, I don't know. I think a circle would look best, actually. Yeah. Thank you. Mark is right, though. That's oh, right. 
y'all are against me, aren't you? Then to the right, so you move them to the left to center them. That's how it works. And then type in, I don't know, lady. Lady. Night. Let's find us a nice lady. This lady. This is. There you go. Look at that. This is. Um, owner of fancy fences. Bridget, owner of fancy fences. I sh we should have, see, if I had more time, actually, you know what I'm going to do? This is Bridget, owner of Fancy Fences, and she <clears throat> is going to be peeking right. Look, it's like she's welcomed you to her yard. She's like, hello, welcome to Fancy Fences. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? Look how fast it was to do a banner. Look how fast that was. And if <clears throat> you have a photo of yourself, let's take... Um, this is mm. uh, Jessica. Let's take Jessica over here. You can take a photo of yourself and click background remove if you have Canva Pro. And then you can stick your own photo on here. And if you wanna be like all the YouTubers with the cool outline around your photo, well, what I like to do is go to edit images right here, click on shadows, do the glow feature. Do the glow feature. No. Do the glow feature. Maybe it won't do it because you deleted the background off of it. Let me try. No, it usually does. Let me do it on this one. There we go. Okay. Mm. And then I like to do transparency off size. Trans it's, that was transparency 100%. Or transparency, yeah. And then I select like a color and then you can give her an outline or yourself. This is what I do for all my YouTube thumbnails because for some reason... People like outlines on Yeah, pictures. I don't know why. When I do that... My I favorite is when... Because there's a lot of YouTubers that are realizing that. And my favorite thing now is that you can see that people are going in and doing it by hand. Oh, no. Don't and do it And it's by like hand. all edgy and crappy looking. Don't, no, don't, don't do, do it by, Don't do it by hand. Yeah, but but for some reason, my videos get more views when they have an outline. So maybe test it in your Etsy shop. Use, like, here's my branding colors. Mm -hmm. um, like, uh, well, I guess I can't access it because I've already edited her. If I do it again, it'll... It's not the kind of picture I would use for fences, though. That's an awfully attractive picture for well, fences. Well, she's, yeah, she's looking sexy. This she one, though. Like a real estate agent. Yeah. Let's, this one isn't a good example of yeah. a photo that, like, I like smiles, guys. Smile psychology. She looks happy. She's very inviting. And look her at her shirt. Her eyes are smiling, too. That's, that's the difference between a fake and a real smile is whether or not the eyes are smiling, too. Yeah, and her shirt, <clears> like, <throat> matches the feel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next shop idea because... Next shop idea. Let's do this. Let's see if anybody else had one and then we'll go and do it. There were a lot. Boat cleat towel hangers. That's a little... Whoa! That's I a don't... little specific. Uh, wait, what was it? Boat cleat towel hangers. Boat. Cl What's a boat cleat? I don't know, but it sounds specific. My only rule is that I have to know what the item is. Otherwise, I... She's fancy. Feels like a puppet show. All right, um, Ju Bubba's balloons. Um, Ju Jupiter Jan's like junk. Jupiter Jan, I like that, and I like Bubba's balloons. That also balloons. sounds like an Alpha's After Dark. <laughs> Jupiter Jan's junk. Oh, maybe we shouldn't be showing Jupiter Jan's junk on camera. What was it? B Bubba's balloons. Bubba's balloons. All sure. right, let's do um, galactic cat scratchers. That actually sounds like a good idea. All right, natural deodorant. Give me balloons. I'm wearing natural deodorant right now, guys. And Balloon. TBH, it's not like, it's not all that great. My natural. I mean, it's not necessarily natural deodorant. It's just deodorant. It's it's not the best. So what's Bubba Balloons? Do we, what color for the brand? I like that. Blue? I like that, yeah. Or yellow? It's balloons. Balloons are a happy color. No, not yellow. Yellow's abrasive. You want blue? Blue? Yes, I like that blue. That, that particular this blue. This blue right here? That particular This? Blue. Okay. Can you type in balloon B? I think that I I bet they have B-shaped balloons. Yeah, they have every every letter. All right, let's just do the the two Bs as the um, and then we'll type in the Bubba's balloons. All right, so Bubba. text uh, do Bubba Bubba's. You know, lowercase U. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so let's find us a good font and then we'll just replicate it for our next one. So let's do. We need something kind of chunky and fun. That's fun. You like that one? Mm, I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of cursive with logos. That's not that's not round enough. I you know I like them round. Yeah I know. That's why I got such a big boot. I like that one. What? Oh. Good job. 
Going too quick before you even look at this it. This one? No, because it's too short. Bobos. It's too... It's, it's short and stout. He doesn't like short people. Here is his handle. Here is his spout. Ah, <gasps> oh, oh. That one. Can I, we do like a hollow... Bo Quit scrolling so dang fast. Good lord. Let go of the mouse. You do it. You, you this, pick this one. This woman. You're supposed to be five... Ah. Oh. No, I can turn any font like that. You don't have to pick one that's already yeah, hollow. Yeah, but I like that. Oh. Well, Whatever. It you do it then. It don't match. What are we doing? I'm lost. We're branding something random. Yeah. We're, we're just showing people how easy it is to brand. You there don't we have go. To, you don't have to spend an eternity. Exactly. Branding. I don't know if black would be the color that I would go. Oh, no. We're going to. We're going <clears> to. <throat> Ew. We're going to. Ew. We're going to. Wait. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. We're going to. We're going to fancy it up. This is just my life, y'all. Fancy it up. Oh, look at that. I like that, but maybe behind instead of in front for the outline. What? Behind instead of in front for the outline. Oh, I can't do that. That's oh, okay. that's a text default. All right. And She's then just lazy. And then no, I'm not lazy. It won't let me. And then we need balloons. How about we do instead of balloons? Because if I were to do this, I would do balloons. <gasps> Bubba's balloons. Bubba's balloons. And then maybe hold on, hold on. Let's get back in that text box. Where? Nope. Never mind. Since it wants to put the apostrophe at the bottom for some reason. This text is weird. Bubba's balloons. What do you think? Is it perfect? Is yeah. it beautiful? I mean, if I were to go and redo something like this, I would probably go and take an actual picture of, like, a balloon that I have that is the letter B and cut it out and use that as the B, you know? All right. What? All right. Next one. Give me another one. Balloons. Though, if you're a balloon seller, I probably wouldn't go with balloons because I'm pretty sure that's copyright. Yeah, from the game. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, guys. I'm That's a fun game, too. I uh, I have a phobia of latex balloons. It's called globophobia. You can Google it. It's real. I'm not afraid of the ones that are foil, though. She's like, not afraid of balloons themselves. She's afraid of the noise that they randomly make. Spontaneous loud noises. I can't... If there is a children's birthday party where they are touching balloons, I cannot be in the same space. Okay. What do we have... We're not doing your branding. Well, a lot of these aren't. Grandma jewelry. I like grandma jewelry. Grandma jewelry. Is that the name? Okay, so that's not the brand name. So it's that's It's not. So we'll have to come up with a brand name. All right. So if we're super like <clears throat> stereotypical, stereotypical with Yeah, please don't be don't don't be offended by anything that we're doing. We're just going off the collar on a short time frame. I'm just going to type in elderly This is grandma. She's the first grandma I picked. She she has Grandma's gilded gilded gems. GGG. <gasps> is that an acronym for anything bad? GGG. No, I mean GG's like good game. Okay, that's fine then. Grandma's Grandma's gilded goodies or something gil like that. Grandma's G gilded gems. Grandma Okay, let's find a font like And we'll do GGG. Grandma's. Yeah, we need to, we need something. Think like Pottery Barn. I think Pottery Barn would be the way to go for this particular brand. Okay. Um. I like that Metal Gear Solid text here. <laughs> More than I should. Let's see. I'm trying to find it. <clears throat> Branding speed run. Yes, that's exactly it. Except we're not being super. Let's about do it. Grandma's up here, and then Gilded Gems in the small letters. Let's do G Ma's. That looks like Jemus. <laughs> Grammys. 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 Wait, apo you need an apostrophe, because she's a. It would be apostrophe s if it were like that. Grammys. Yeah, it's not for multiple Grammys. It's it's their by Grammy. Grammys. Gilded. Gilded. Gems. Gems. There's no U in gilded. No. Oh. That would be guild Gil like gu a guild. Oh, okay. Sure. Maybe goodies. Goodies. Oh, there's. Can you drop this down a line? Yeah. I Grammys feel, gilded goodies. You know what? I feel like I we could. This. I feel like we could ungroup this and put it like. Yeah. Look at that. All right, and then we'll group it back together. Again, don't use Grammys. 
<laughs> the gra- well, I mean, if it was in reference to something completely different. Like if you were referring to yourself as Grammy, that'd probably be okay. Let's ungroup. I'm sure it's taken then. I don't know how to ungroup. Let's, uh, we'll keep it grouped. That's fine. Okay. And then what does she make? Is she making jewelry? Is that what she's? Yeah. Okay. Grandma, the- grandma jewelry. That, that, I think that was the idea, right? Okay. Let's- so we're going to re- refer this to like our grandparents because I don't know what like. Can you type in uh, background? Just background? Yes. Just background. Ew. 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 Mm. Mm. It's getting nicer. That ain't too bad. What if we like faded it a little bit? <laughs> Crappy Crafter said life alert necklace. That's uh, awful. No. Come on, our primary demographic, we just checked it, is 45 to 65. That's Be not, nice. That's 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 not, not that's gonna make people more mad than what mm-hmm. she just said. And then Graham Grammy's is gonna be What's it? Oh, what did you just do? Oh, look at that. There's Grammy. And then can you type in necklace? Now, obviously, we you need, would... We need like a perfect. Look at that. Yeah. Background remove. Looky there. I bet you $5 a lady in the stock photo has a cookie tin full of sewing items. Mm-hmm. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. She totally does. But after she ate those awful crappy dusty cookies <laughs> and then maybe send that send that back a layer yeah let's flip it this way so it's pointed the right direction and then we'll put this in the middle there you go grammy yeah that's not too bad not my favorite one that we've done so far uh, honestly fancy fences. fancy fences but yeah that's just it's just so white collar white people yeah yeah absolutely she's she is a real estate agent selling this plot of land that has a beautiful fence but no home on it all right Good what do we Lord. have next we're already tw- we're only 20 minutes into this live stream they're What's five next? minute branding yeah but we're Good already Lord. we're already spending more than let's five do minutes. let's do like two or three more and then we'll get some questions going we can answer questions while I'm doing these. Uh, these are no-brainers. Can you do a home decor accessories? No. Home decor accessories. Can you be more specific in what that might that be? Is, that is just like literally anything that you put in your house. Uh, dream soak and then bath bombs. Bath bombs. Okay. Dream soak bath bombs. That works. All right. Uh, also, bear in mind, like, we're just doing this. You should spend more than five minutes doing your branding. We're just showing you how. So don't, like, so take what we're doing with a grain of salt. This is supposed to be more of an example than uh, something you're supposed to take literal. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I would definitely <clears throat> recommend putting more time into your own branding than what we're doing. Um, I don't, ooh. What do you think about this one or the? Well, you know, I like feet. Fancy feet. Only thing is that person's been soaking in that tub for a while. Look how waterlogged them feet are. Yeah, she's a little, she's a little soggy. She's a little soggy. I can just imagine like her friends like, come over and do this photo shoot with me. And she's like, can I get out of the tub now? No. The water's cold. No, you will stay in this tub until we are done. Okay, I like this one. It also shows how you don't have to overthink it too much. I absolutely agree with that. All right, what was it? Dream soak? Dream. I think so. Something like that. Dream, dream soak. All right, well, we'll just add text in that. So let's do dream. Dream. All right, and then don't worry about it because we'll have to play with the text and then I can. Are all these photos free to use and branding? Yeah, we're on iPicky. Everything here is, is royalty free. Yep. Let's do a fun, like, oh, yeah. We talk about Canva all the time. Yeah, we've got tons of Canva videos. Um, and if you don't like stock photos on Canva, you can also use unsplash.com, pexels.com, and, and, and uh, pixabay.com. And I will say, technically, what we're doing isn't free. Miss, don't interrupt me. It's not free. Well, some of the stuff that we are using is under the uh, Canva Pro membership. Oh, so. yeah. It's not. Yeah. A lot of these are from my paid Canva membership. But to use them, you can use them. All right, soak. 
Oh, no. You can't downsize that text. Yeah, I can. I just meant to move it, not do that. There you go. Ooh, and can you... Ooh, I like that. Do me a favor and delete everything but the S. This S, this font, would make a great logo. Why don't delete the S out of this one and then... No, because then you, I don't think you'd be able to tell what it is. Well, yeah, because now you have this duplicated freaking letter. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And now I'll take that and put it over. Does that... Yes. Can you read that? Yes. Okay. It doesn't matter if you can read it. It's brand, it's branding. The shop name is like an inch below this on the screen. Yeah, but you still got to be able to read it. What do you think? I disagree with you. Does that look good? I think that looks wonderful. That's perfect. And then you could just use the S as your like logo for your business cards and everything. Very cool. All right, give me another one. What we got? She, she literally named the three best sites, Pexels, Unsplash, and Pixabay. Yep, that's where it's at. Those are, that is the sweet. And um, Pixabay is great if you want um, like animated, like fun little photos that are kind of cartoony and drawings and things um, I, and edited photos. And then if you want more styled photos like what we have here. Oh no, Taylor School is calling. Keep talking to them. Good Lord, okay. Hello. Yeah, go ahead and get a couple more names in. We'll see if we can get some Pete's Paintball Palladium. We don't just gotta, you don't just gotta rhyme stuff for these. Let's see, are all these photos? Okay, so we already got your question. Is there a way to do these cool effects with your own photos? I mean, yeah, absolutely. There's no reason you can't upload your own stuff and do it. We also, uh, let me see, one second. Let me switch this off of this here. Hurry up. I'm sorry. What? Taylor's counselor wanted to get her um, 504 plan set up. Oh, okay. Well, later. <laughs> I told her that I'd call her back. Okay. Go back to screen share. Anyway, I told them to get a couple more in. Seems like they were just trying to Okay. King Arthur's Armory. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. Okay. Go for it. I see. All right. King Arthur's Armory. Can you type in castle? Um, ooh. Um, mm, that's a little blurry. Yeah. Try not to have blurry banners. This one's kind of blurry too, isn't it? Yes, it is. We use Amber and I use a lot of castles for our um our podcast. I don't really like this is too dark. So if you use a picture from Canva, you can use it for any of your shop merch, etc. Yeah. Um well, wait. <laughs> um I think that they do have some licensing rules, but there's a page to see what the specifics are. Um, there are some things like their templates that they've already put together that you can't sell. Um, you can just Google it, though, and they've got a list of what you can and can't use. But if for like your for your branding and stuff, it's fine because your branding, you're not selling your branding. But if you were to turn in like put it on a t-shirt, you know, if I were to take this castle and stick it on a t-shirt, if it might not be okay. You just have to look up um, their rules because I can't remember the specifics offhand. If anybody can remember the specifics, feel free to put them in the chat. When he named one of those castles and said, is often blurry as it's surrounded by mist. Yeah, but oh. good camera's a good camera. You can capture anything if you got a good enough quality camera. All right, this isn't a huge castle, <clears throat> but it's... Good enough. Good enough. Okay, let's find a cool, like, what was it, King... Man, my brain is not working. Okay, let's do this. But then can we go into elements and type in shield? I don't know if that needs the U in there. Oh, we're in frame. We don't need frames. We need... Okay, there we go. Let's see. I don't like that I one. I see so many Canva graphics on t-shirts people sell. I feel those artists who aren't getting paid their rightful royalties. I'm sure that Canva pays the artists who submit their yeah. art. Can we suggest a well-known brand and you come up with a possible rebrand on how you would have done it? Um, mm. depend. Well, maybe. It depends on if I don't like what they've done with their branding. I can try. All right. I kind of like this, how it's like... Havesies. Havesies. Yeah, like, why are there so many, why is there such a big color profile for this? 
Okay, so that's the edge. Yeah, it's edge lit. Let's do like blue on the edge. Oh, and it's two sides to the shield too, so. Okay, so this is one side, so let's do like, and is this, this is the other edge. And then this is the other, the dark side yeah, of it. Yeah, you definitely want to do two, but I wouldn't go with just gray and gray. What, is it, what color? No. Uh, do the blue? Sure. Okay. Because what I was going to do was I was going to fade it a little. And then we could probably do like a better job on this font here. Are there any companies branding you really don't like and why? Company, uh, all the time we come across them while we're out and about. I'm trying to, ooh, this is pretty. I'm trying to think of a company's branding that I don't like. We've got this. Look how high up that apostrophe is. We've got this place um, by his parents' house called um, Sheer Divas. And their branding, like, makes me have an aneurysm every time I see it because it's like all i don't know it's just it's like slanted but it's not supposed to be it just looks like the letters are being blown off the sign what do you think yeah i dig it um branding for big companies that i don't like i'm trying to think if there's like any branding for we just got a thing you have, are we full screen yeah okay we just got a thing in the mail for <laughs> <laughs> weed man for weed man we just and got it was just it's a weeding company yeah but it's like a superhero and, and he... his name is weed man <laughs> and 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 you his web their website is weedman.com and i can just for, for one how did they get that domain or how did how did nobody buy that domain before but you know it is genius branding because you know it's funny when when I'm like laughing with Mark and I'm like, oh, do you want to call the weed man? Let me call my weed man real quick. Like, you know, yeah, that's the a Facebook status I posted. I said, when you're having a crappy weekend and there's nothing to do, you better call the weed, weed man. man. Yeah. So they, you know, it's, it's funny, but you know that people remember it and they make jokes about it, which is a good thing. So I, I would say that their branding's kind of. Their logo isn't that great. Mm -mm. I would have ran with it even more. It's like a generic superhero in a green suit with a big W. Yeah, yeah, he looks like the Green Lantern, but with a W. I mean, I have a, a lot of problem with a lot of companies' branding. Not necessarily just big companies, but, like, if especially in the United States when you're driving down the road and every, like, semi-truck has a just awful Microsoft Paint-made geometric shapes logo brand. On the side of it, like, that's just most of the brands here in the United States have awful branding. Big brands aside, most small brands have terrible branding. Yeah, I could go, I could tell you about all of the branding that I like. I, there are so many brands that I love their branding and I love the psychology behind them. Um, okay, here's one. I hate the Quaker Oat guy. <laughs> He's scary. He's scary. He doesn't make me want to eat oatmeal. It's classic. He's scary. He's the Quaker Oat Man. He's terrifying. He's a Quaker. And he's scary. They could have picked a more friendly looking Quaker. He is a The general car insurance bad animation always irked me, but then they embraced it. Now I don't mind it so much. Yeah, that's the point, is they really haven't, like, upped the quality of it at all. Oh, the general? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's an em empire flooring. Mm. All right, do we have any... I use Weed Man. <laughs> do you do you say that you're going to call your Weed Man? Because if not, you should definitely start. There's a Weed Man in Utah. There's a Weed Man in just about any city. I was going to say, I think most cities probably have a Weed Man. A bit random Quaker Oak Man. Qu Quaker Qu Oak Man. Quaker Oak Man. But Mark, is he classic just because he's been around for so long? I think that's what classic means. <laughs> I think that's the definition of classic, Google, right? Google. Is it 25 years? I think 25 years makes something no, classic. No, no, it doesn't, because that would mean that... Oh, that would mean that, like, Green Day is a classic. I guess it is. When when you go into the grocery store, like, in the morning when it's only, okay. like... so for cars specifically, they have to be at least 20 years old, but not older than 40. Okay. So I think after 40, they become vintage. Okay. Classics may gain status for books. It's 25 to 50 years after they're written. 
So twenty, we'll say twenty to fifty years is classic. Yeah. All right. Let me get back to, to our. Uh, okay. Chat you, here we kind of got a little a little wonky off topic. Maybe do one more of these and then we'll get some questions going. All right, give me one more then. All right. Give that me means one. I'm classic. Me too. I'm thirty. Why does a general have a penguin? Why not? I I think that they just sat. They were just like, you know what? I like penguins. Okay, throw a penguin in. Do what you want. I I really think that they were off the handle, or they had just been visited by the weed man <laughs> before they did the commercial. Probably. They got visited by the weed man. <laughs> Seriously, guys. What if that was like a horror movie. What the, the Quaker? Weed, the weed man. The, the weed man. He comes to your house and eats all your Doritos. He makes, he makes your kids lazy. <laughs> he, Let's see here. He eats all uh, your Doritos and drinks all your Mountain Dew in the night. <laughs> like the fire pits idea. We could do one with like fire pits. Um, let's see. Um, Somebody said mm, a fiber. Fiber. Yeah, that was like way, way up here. Oh, somebody else said it. Fabulous too. fibers. Fabulous fibers, fiber fantasy. More than one person has said fiber. All right, All right screw it. Let's do fiber. Somebody that sells maybe like uh, what kind cool of thing supplies or something. Can you okay full screen us or screen 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 the share uh, fiber? Yeah, Should I do e r or r e? Yeah. Fiber. <laughs> High in fiber. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> It's beautiful. No, type in um, I don't know, colored yarn or yarn, color, colored yarn, colorful yarn. Okay. Alpaca fiber. That's too specific. Well, no, actually, that might work. Let me um, let me see what. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I want. That's a video. Though that would be cool. Let's do animated banners. Somebody tell Etsy they need to get on that. I like that. Let's do that one. Okay. Let me. I gotta. I gotta. I can only do like one of the colors, so. So. Can you? Unless you do it a second time and cut it and put them half and half. Alpaca. 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 <gasps> yes, I'll name him Jeffrey. I want this one. With the, he's got a cool hairdo. I wish my hair was that cool. This is this is Jeffrey. He wants you to come see his local band play down at the station tonight. They play old school punk and none of their songs are longer than a minute. Yep. And afterwards, when you sit in the front row, you're covered in spit. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's an alpaca. <laughs> come here, Jeffrey. We're yes. not making fun of punk music. It is just the most inferior version of rock and roll. <laughs> Mr. Moore. Real punk, not like the modern punk, because that's not punk. That's just angst. Mr. Moore's in a metal band. There's a little bit of animosity. It's fine. Let's uh, let's give him a. He's got like a. He's got an an an. Aura. Alpacas don't spit. Llamas do. You're you're right. Uh oh. You're who right. A, who could be afraid of a Jeffrey? Someone small enough for Jeffrey to step on, I would assume. Me. <laughs> Okay. Um, and llamas love me. Llamas do love you. They do. Ooh, what was it called? Something. I don't think we had a specific name. Ca Fab <gasps> fibers. Alpaca bag. Al alpaca. Why is it? Why did this? Why did it? Wait, hold on. I I'll move it. Do it lowercase. All lowercase? Yeah. Like, like, oh, you're going to spend the night? I'll pack a bag. And you make hand... Fiber. Uh, alpaca fiber backpacks. I'll pack a bag. Oh, I lost the mouse again. I'll pack a bag. Stroke the furry wall. Yeah. Stroke the furry wall. Anytime you're freaking out, that's way too dark. I'm working on it. I'm trying to decide. By ruining it. What do you want? What do you, what do you to want? Put the background exactly want? how it was. It looked what fine. What do you want me to do? What are you, what are you, what are you implying? There. Perfect. Crisp, clear, perfect background. I mean, you can put the transparency up a little bit if you want to. What if we like, boop. 
He's like coming out of the corner. Yeah, like all the way out of the corner. Like out over here? Like, no, not even that. Like, put him like. Like peeking. You're like, hello. My name is Jeffrey. I'm here to say hello. And then you'd have room to put something like here. Yeah, like your press photos and things. Okay. Oh, okay. I get it. Who could be afraid of a Jeffrey? Stroke the furry wall. Got okay, it. Okay, you got you, it. You smoked a Jeffrey. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, because. Got ya. I understand it now. That is a goofy movie. I love it. Get him to the Greek. Okay. I think we're good. Um, you guys have time to ask us some questions. Let's let's do a review first, though, okay? Let's do a review. Fancy Fences is my favorite. Mm -hmm. because, mainly because of her. She's, like, so happy. She, I want to shop from Fancy Fences. Bubs Bloons. I mean, honestly, if we were to... She doesn't look like... She doesn't look like a Bubba. <laughs> but I, I think that she makes everything look a little better. Like, really, she she kind of <laughs> makes all of these look better. But you can see why the smiling face makes everything look a little better. Even Grammy's like, she's going to she's going to sell you a necklace and then bake you some cookies. Um, this one I do like. It's a little bit. It's not as crisp, but it's because of the filter it on gives the photo. It that, it, yeah, I was about to say, it gives it that aesthetic. It looks like it's meant to look like that. She looks gilded. She's gilded in sunlight. Oh. You've read you've read Court of Thorns and Roses. You know all that foo-foo talk. Um, King Arthur's Armory is probably my uh, I don't That's, like this one that much. I'm not a yeah, I'm not a big fan of it, but this is my least favorite, but No, oh, I love it. We were in a rush. I absolutely. No, we're not in a rush. I love that. You like this one? Happy? I love everything about that. Yeah. And then you could put the actual shop owner photo down here. We could even. You could even experiment with it and do the. Um... Yeah. Or if you like the pink, I, I kind of like the pink more. We could just put it towards the bottom. I actually kind of like that more. Yeah, I kind of like that too. Okay. I'll pack a bag wins for me. I'll yeah, pack a bag. I like it. All right. All right, let's get back to main screen. If you have Etsy questions, branding questions. Can I show them real quick? Can you screen share one last time and then get rid of us? If you want to make sure that your banner is actually clear when you download it from Canva, um, you go to the share button. Hold on. Okay. You go to the share button. You go to download, and then before you download, you need to pull this up. Because if you leave it here, the banner is going to save blurry. This is where it's going to default to. You want to yes. at least bump it up by one. Um, Etsy's going to resize this, so you can't make it too big. You can only make it too small. So you could technically just crank it as high as it'll yes. go. And I also recommend saving it as a PNG, um, not a JPG, because the PNG typically is going to have higher quality. Um, for some reason, even though that's not how that works. But if you are doing the JPG, just make sure that you switch file size to large. Yeah. You don't have this capability with so the PNG. The reason that you save it as a... What? So JPEGs are not lossless, and a lot of the times PNGs can be resized without losing mm -hmm. quality. And that's why you want to save it as a PNG, because they, they convert better. Yeah. JPEGs will technically have the same exact quality until they're resized. Yeah. Now, but some yeah. of these, I don't know at what J -E -G, point. JPEG. JPEG. I don't know at what point you have to have a f uh, paid membership to... They said that isn't available unless you pay. Okay, so you can't upscale probably, it. One is probably the one. But I mean, honestly, at this point, is if you're editing a lot of photos, you might as well just have it anyway. Oh, the Canva Pro membership is the best. Like, you can go back to us. Of all my... Because I've, I've paid for all these little apps. I pay for Motion Leap. Um, it's like an animated photo app. I've done a... We did a... It wasn't even a Friday bean. I think it was a, we did an actual video on it, on the yeah. Motion Leap app. Yes, we did. Um, and I think I did all the animations for it. You did. You mm -hmm. did. We have, um, there's the Motion Leap app that I pay for. I pay for a Storyblock subscription, which is paid um, videos and, and graphics audios. and audio and music and sound effects. I pay for that. I pay for Canva Pro. 
Um, of all the things that I pay for, if I could only have one, it would be Canva Pro because you Oh, get... absolutely. You can do almost anything with it. Yeah. You can even make goofy stuff for your own, just like personal social media if you want to. Yeah. And, and it's not that expensive. All the videos that I do that I've been doing on YouTube where you guys are like, wow, I love all the animations. I do those in Canva. All mm -hmm. the, all of the video animations that I do in all of my most recent videos, I do in Canva. The Friday Bean introduction that plays with the music, all of that's Canva. This overlay that says Friday Bean is Canva from Canva, everything that I do is through Canva. All of the marketing for the can't, alphas. You can't be afraid to invest in yourself, especially when it's things that are like gonna be tax write-offs for the majority of you. Yeah. If you pay for Canva Pro and use photos for branding, are you still allowed to keep your branding even if you stop paying for Canva? Yes. I would assume that. Yes. Yeah, because yeah, they branding. can't. They can't do that. Yeah, because it's your. I mean, if you, I would, I would ask them that because usually you maintain royalty for the things that you make while you own a product. Yeah. So, ask them. Let's see. Please make more Canva tutorials. I've got quite a few. Um, yeah, if, we've got a bunch. Yeah, if you go back on my channel and click on the my like little search bar that's just for my channel and type in Canva or if the main search bar, if you type in Canva, Starla Moore. Um, I've got Canva for Reels. I've got me making... For Reels. For Reels. <laughs> yeah, for Reels and TikToks. I've got Canva for a bunch of um, like social media marketing post videos. I did find something new. This is like one of those things where everybody needs to listen and write this down because you know how when I fall in love with a tool and I won't stop talking about it, I've got a new one that everybody needs. It is called CapCut. It is an editor that you can use to edit your reels and TikToks. Um, one thing that I noticed when I edit my reels on Instagram directly is that for one, they upload blurry. For two, sometimes the text ends up getting messed up or squished. For three, if I mess up in the middle of the video, I, I often end up like deleting a big chunk or things just don't work properly or if I'll have a feature to like rearrange my clips and then I won't have that feature anymore. It's very inconsistent. CapCut is completely free. You don't have to pay for anything. It's not even like a thing where you have Excuse to watch me. where you have to watch ads in order to keep doing it. It's just free. Um, and upload your videos or when you save them. How you do can, you spell that? Cap cut, C A P C U T. Cap cut. Okay, I wasn't the one that asked. Oh, okay. Don't get mad at me. I'm not mad at you. Woman. I'm not mad at you. We're gonna fight. C A P C U T. Um, Cap and, cut. And you can animate your text onto the screen. Mm -hmm. You can download them to four, like in 4K. Um, I love it. If you go to my Instagram <laughs> right now at Handmade Alphas, and you look at the reel that uh, that I posted this morning, I edited that in Cap Cut. So. That will show you, like, you know, how nice the video looks. Yeah, if it's, if, uh, I don't know if anybody can still hear us. If it's buffering for you, refresh it. We just had a little glitch over on our end. Okay. Refresh the page. Oh, I already, I typed it in. Okay. Do, 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 do. Did we have any questions? Do you have any tips for a banner for a shop that sells downloadable patterns and tutorials? You yeah. just you, you're you're not necessarily branding the products that you sell. You're branding your brand. Yeah. What is don't focus on trying to get the product on the on the banner. And when I did that, like with the Grammys gilded gems or whatever it was, gifts, items, things. Um, and I tried to put a necklace on there. Of everything that was on that banner, the necklace was my least favorite thing. Yeah. Sound is off. Uh oh, glitch. Is it still sounding goofy? Can you hear us? Yeah, if it's sounding, if it's sounding or looking goofy, try to refresh first because everything is completely fine over on our end. Well, here. Aaron just said something related to what we just said, so okay. I would assume that she can hear us. And she also said the sound is off. Fine for me. Yeah. Okay. It fine. was it was a YouTube glitch. Okay. Um. Yeah. So think about the aesthetic that you want to create. So, for example, with I don't know the fence shop. Maybe you want to have that clean, like, real estate vibe, like, super friendly. And maybe that's the type of, like, you want to appeal to people who are, like, refurbishing their homes for, you know, Airbnbs or whatever mm -hmm. or, or to sell. You would want to have that aesthetic. Um, if you're doing the King Arthur's Armory, you want to have those really cool, like, like you could do like a medieval vibe you could do you know 
like a Renaissance vibe. There's so many cool things. Obviously, I'm like making clashing time periods and things, but you could go with that overall feel. Like if if you went to a Renaissance festival, you would know exactly what the vibe is. There's like there's you know the sounds, the smells, the sights, the colors, the palettes. It, there's just a, a feeling to that overall aesthetic. Rather than trying to put the products on the banner, capture the feeling and your brand. Like what you make your brand about can be anything. You can pick anything for your brand to be about and what you want the feel to be. As long as it makes sense. Obviously, you don't want to make like your brand, I don't know, you don't want to do like strip club themed branding if you sell baby shoes. You don't know that. I mean, I, I don't think that there's a big market for stripper babies, but... Stripper babies. I, I mean... Only for the rich elites. Only for... Oh, God, Mark. That was, that was bad. No. I think down with the elite. Um, can you whiten a white background with Canva Pro? Not the way that you can in iPicky. No, we usually use iPicky for that. Yeah, so you can lighten things up in Canva, but what I've noticed is when you do the lightening, you can't really, you don't have a lot of freedom. Uh -huh. um, it, you get a lot of haze, and then you have to up the contrast, and then you get areas that are washed out. Typically, I always edit my photos in iPicky first. And then I upload them to Canva, and it you just have more control with iPicky. She said true, Mark, but still, I, I, no, I agree. It's <laughs> awful. Those people are awful. See, I'm careful with my money, but I justify the cost by how much I'm able to accomplish with yes. it. Yes. All my social media posts, banners, listing photos, I make it worth the money. Exactly. Because those make you money. When you're using them to market and brand your business, that makes you money. Uh, I was curious because I'm looking into potentially doing uh, some stuff on what's called AI upscaling software for some of you that don't have amazing phones. It's not free stuff, but it's still cheaper than buying an expensive camera or upgrading a phone. So if you guys would be interested in some like AI upscaling for your photos to take them from grainy to crispy, let me know. I don't know if it's something that it's going to be user friendly for you guys yet because I've not experimented with it myself, but... If you guys are interested in it, I'll totally go for it. Yeah. Let's see here. And your uh, questions here, if you want to get questions in, it doesn't have to be about the subject at hand now. It can be about anything. Let's see. I can tell we're both sleepy today. Yeah, I took a nap. <laughs> I put Taylor on the bus and I took me up. That's why. And I drank all my booby heavens coffee. No. Could you make an animated banner for Facebook? For Facebook, you can't have animated banners anymore. Um, they took away that capability. But they are. Band page still has one, I think. No, it doesn't. I had no. to change it. Yeah. They removed the ability to do animated banners unless they've brought it back in like the last month and I've missed the memo. Um, they, uh. they took away the capability to do video banners. And I don't think that you can do video profile photos anymore either. So weird. Maybe yeah. it was just too much of a drain. They also took away the capability to make your own photo frames. So for everybody who has the handmade alpha photo frame, you probably, if you haven't lost it yet, you're going to lose it. Which sucks because like everybody could make photo frames for their brands. And now only um, they're only doing it for... Um, like COVID type things and like I, I got vaccinated and for like official like causes, they've taken away the ability to make some for your own. Like, well, people were probably abusing it. Yeah, that's true. But still, it sucks because I really like doing that. Not that you guys couldn't add your own graphics to your photos. Like, Yeah, I you could, totally could do that if you knew how to like get yeah. circled. You could just figure out where that needs to be and do it yourself. Yeah. Um, I put my shop on vacation for a week and my shop has been dead since I opened up again. What do I do? You what to do. Okay. So I've got a video on this on my channel. You can go back and watch that. Um, the short answer is your shop. Etsy sees it like the same as if you didn't have any items in your shop. The way that you rank in search is through engagement of your listings that are available in search. When people click on them, when people favorite them, when people uh, buy them, when people review them, Etsy sees that as positive activity towards your shop. So when you are on vacation, it's like your shop is asleep. Your shop is dormant. Your listings are asleep. Now that you're back from vacation mode, what you need to do is tell Etsy that you're back by waking those listings up. The best way to do that is by getting people in your shop by driving some external marketing. I would recommend hosting a sale on your social media pages and driving people to your actual shop. 
um, in order to get them in there and clicking around. If you don't have a social media presence, add some new listings and that'll hopefully um, kind of, you know, because when you list a new product, you get an initial boost in search and that will allow people to start clicking through. So it's not a permanent thing. You didn't lose your listing quality scores or anything like that. It's You just need to get some some engagement in there. Uh, if you brighten, you have to play with the contrast and other sliders to balance out the light washing. Yeah, and then, and then if you do the contrast too high, you might end up with like two bright spots. I always do that with our thumbnails and like I'll end up with a way too shiny nose or something. Yes. It's a pain. Interested in upscaling. All right. Cool. If it's something that I can, that I could do that would be user friendly, maybe it might be something that I might have to put in HAA just simply because it's not going to be interesting to the majority of people. Uh, usually software like that is very complex and in depth and it might just create more questions than it answers. Yeah, we'll we'll play with it. Uh, I relocated to Northern California or from Northern California to Texas. Shop was on vacation mode for five months and listings started to regain quality scores. Will a new shop name and a rebrand hurt my current progress? Should I wait? No, re sh sh renaming your shop and rebranding doesn't do anything to your list to your overall um, search ranking. So you you're totally fine. Um, it shouldn't take that long to. You're not, you didn't lose your listing quality scores. You're not regaining them. Um, you're regaining your rank. And you can, like I said, you can do that a lot faster by just driving the traffic yourself rather than relying on SEO to do it for you. Because usually it's faster for you to just tell your social media following to go buy something mm -hmm. um, and, you know, giving them like a discount code. Hold, hold a sale. Have a fun little sale to wake everything back up. I want to make some rhino stickers and half the proceeds go to save oh. the rhinos. Just in the last two months, 70 rhino, 75 oh, no. rhinos have been killed by poachers. Do you guys still do the wolf thing? We do. We, do. we, we didn't make, um, I think we made through our alpha library affiliate program though. Last year only, we only made $13. So in, we can't advertise it on YouTube anymore. Yeah, we're not allowed to. We're not allowed to put our like alpha affiliate links in YouTube. I mean, we've never been and, allowed to. Uh, yeah, unless you just don't monetize, and that's like a video sponsor kind of thing. It's it's a pain. But every time I post about a book in the alpha Facebook community, and I give you guys a link, that's our affiliate link, and all of the proceeds go to the Wolf Sanctuary. Or, sorry, the Wolf Conservation Center of South Salem, New York. Um, so. I'm just getting my photos done for the about section on my Etsy. What kind of photos and info do you guys suggest for uh, the about section? For the about section specifically, I recommend photos that connect you as the artist to your product. So you making your products, you posing with products, your hands creating a product. Um, don't use it as a way to advertise or showcase your items. That's not what it's for. Use it as a way to show how you can connect to your customers and your brand. Um, family photos are great too. If, if you can like get a full shot of you and the fam, or if your shop is inspired by your pets, photo of you with your pets. Um, just things things that connect you to your brand is what I recommend. All right. My question is why Etsy can't help uh, I've asked for help so many times. My problem is my shipping profile is messed up. Well, one thing that I will say is that everybody's really upset right now about Etsy's levels of customer service. It's one of the reasons that sellers are striking. Go follow Etsy on LinkedIn. Go follow Etsy on LinkedIn and then scroll through your feed and see how many people Etsy is hiring yes. right now to solve this exact problem. Everybody's striking about the Etsy fees. Mm -hmm. But if you actually follow Etsy as a brand, if you follow closely, them on LinkedIn and see what they're actually spending that increased budget on, it's literally like multiple new employees a day. Like tons. Tons. I and I go through and I like I heart every single time I see that someone got mm -hmm. a new job at Etsy. Etsy has em employed so many new people just since they announced that fee increase. So um, my suggestion to you is to constantly just keep keep at it, keep messaging them. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to tell you to strike or not to strike. That's your prerogative. But I mean, realistically, the only person you're going to hurt is yourself. Yeah, you're so. you're gonna damage your own listing quality scores by keeping your shop out yeah. of. It's Etsy's. There, we're up to like four million active sellers on Etsy. A couple thousand people is not going to get their attention. I mean, they're aware that you're doing it. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt them. The thing is, to matter. they went from one million sellers to four million sellers in under four years. That is an astronomical amount of human beings to be all working on. You know, to be in one platform. Yes, and. 
Etsy, I I mean, if I were Etsy, I wouldn't mind if a few people left because it makes their job a lot easier. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, but at the end of the day, all you're doing is making it easier for your competitors to win and for you to lose. We're not telling you not to strike. If that's what you want to do, stand up for what you believe in. We're all about it. But at the end of the day, you're probably not going to accomplish much. Yeah. Let's see. We had rescue banners for the profile pics for our local rescue, and I couldn't find it this year. I was so bummed. Mm. It happens. This sucks. Facebook's making changes, and they're not always good. Let's see. Rachel Black. I'm opening a second shop. Is it better for the Etsy algorithm to list one new item per day or all at once, or does it matter? Um, for the algorithm itself, Etsy likes to see activity and consistency. So if you don't already have a big social media following, I would recommend one item a day. That would be fine. Um, once you build a decent following through social media, if you're planning to do that, I would recommend doing launches where you're launching collections all at once because they're more marketable. People stop caring if you're just like every day, hey, I made this new thing. Hey, I made this new thing. Hey, I made this new thing. After a while, everybody's like, okay, yeah, you made a new thing. Cool. Good for you. You know, people stop caring. Um, so the big collection launches are better once you have a marketable brand, but just starting out, getting your, your shop out the door, I would just do one a day. Look at all the cute little emojis. Cute emojis. Cute little emojis. I recently noticed a competitor shop putting the name of my shop in their listing titles. Is this allowed? My shop name has my first name in it, so it seems intentional. Message them. Message them and tell them that that um, you don't appreciate your shop name in their... I don't know if it's allowed, but I would message them and ask them to, to remove it. I would doubt that it is. Yeah, and if they don't remove it, say, you know, it... I'm going to contact Etsy about this and then contact Etsy and see if you can. Yeah, because that's that's kind of sketch that they're putting your actual mm. name. That would be like someone putting the art by Star Lamore like in their tags. Yeah, I wouldn't be about that. No. Uh, could you do a video showing us how you would make a listing from start to finish on Etsy? Some random item, et cetera. Um, I could, but since that's like a lot of what I teach in Handmade Alpha Academy, it makes it a little bit hard. Um, and, and it's going to be completely dependent. What do you hope to gain from that? Like, that's, that's my question. What do you want to see me do specifically within that? Because you know what it's like to make a listing, you know, I, I'm just trying to figure out like what exactly like you could learn from that, that. Yeah. Apart that, from the more advanced stuff, which is what we teach yeah, in, our, in yeah. our academy. Yeah, I just want to know, like, what value would I be bringing to this community by doing a video like that? Other than you just seeing how I would do it. Because what I don't want is to show you how I would do it, and then everybody does exactly what I do, and then everybody's listings look identical. Because that's not helpful for anybody anyway. Because what I would do for my, you know, if I was doing a brand, would be different than whatever your brand is. And... Not everything that I do, you're going to be able to copy and apply it at work the same way. Because if my brand goes one way and your brand goes a different way, it, it won't matter. It's like it's like if you were to go to somebody's shop and use all of their tags and titles and photos and things, it doesn't mean that you would therefore be as successful as they are just because you've done what they did. Um, if they were in like a different industry as you, or than you. Does that make sense? Crappy Crafter said, when are you guys going to make a Discord? Some of us don't use Facebook. Technically, we already have a Discord. I haven't had the time to figure out all the extra stuff that goes into it. I need to figure out how to make a moderation bot and do all the other fancy stuff to keep you guys safe and keep people from getting harassed. Because the unfortunate thing is, this is a kind of community where like half of the people are super nice and the other half of people are lunatics. Um, so I need to be able to have moderation in there that isn't a human being. And I need to be able to do that in a fair way where it's not just kicking people out for saying something like what normal people would say and not actually being mean. So, yeah, let's... We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it done. I'll spend I'll spend some time working on it next week and then get it out there again. Our main demographic is people usually over the age of 35 and the majority of them have never even heard of discord. So um, post in the chat down below if you would like an alpha discord. Just and if you don't know what it is, um, feel free to not answer, but or just say I don't know what that is. But yes. let us know if you would like one because we do want to do one. Yeah, I do. I mean, I already have one. It's yeah. just a matter of building it up to where it's usable for a, 
I need to be able to figure out how to have like where people agree to certain terms and then they actually put themselves in certain channels. And I need to be able to have not safe for work channels for our 18 plus sellers and that not be just visible. You actually have to like put yourself into those channels and then be able to actually word it out in a way that people that are of more advanced age and have never used a program like that to actually use it. Because Discord's not self-explanatory. You have to have used Discord for a while to know how to use Discord. Yeah. Because what we don't want it to end up being is something that we have to be in Just all the time. Just constant time. Because we already have, like, so many things we have to moderate. It gets yes. to be a pain. I prefer Discord. What is Discord. Discord is basically a chat service with private servers that people can't just randomly find. You, it, can, you can't like search, oh, so-and-so's Discord, unless they have the link publicly posted somewhere. You have to either have the link as an invite or be personally invited to a Discord server in order to get into one. Yeah, and like, um, is Twitch a good community to build a fan or a fan base for art? Does Twitch and Discord go hand in hand? Twitch and Discord do go hand in hand? Yes, they do. Discord is primarily gamers. Um, Twitch and Discord, I think that they go hand in hand pretty well. You could, I mean, is Twitch a good place to get a follow? It, a following it depends. For art? It depends. Yeah. It depends on what you do. If you're like the kind of person that makes very, very intricate paintings or you just any kind of product that take is time consuming or relatively difficult. Some people like to watch that. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be something that a lot of people are going to be into. You can go over to Twitch. And look and see, look in the category, see what people are watching. Yeah. And if there's a good audience for what you're wanting to do, that audience will already be there. Yeah. So. And Mark and I, we were twi we were doing Twitch streams every, like, what, every night for... Like, a couple weeks. couple weeks. And during those Twitch streams, I mean, we told you guys about we it. We had, like, one or two people at most. Yeah. At any given point in time. So. Wes would usually watch for a while. Um, yeah, illustrations, Ti that kind of thing. Yeah. Tina, you came and watched a couple of them, I think. Um, but for the most part, nobody watched them and it just wasn't worth our time. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Prices have increased on everything. Etsy is no different. I personally won't cut off my nose to spite my face. Yeah. 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 But that's not why they're increasing their prices in particular. It's not, it's not that they're, they're increasing their prices because they need to hire more people because their platform is growing. I like Toffee Apple Studios. She's got piggies. <laughs> she, she's the one is, who tagged me in the picture. With is the 600 sales on Etsy in a year good? That's insane. It's yeah, it's really good. That's Especially really good. Especially if you're not selling like one to two dollar products and you're selling and you're selling a niche product specifically for guinea pig owners. That that's so good. Um, I'm, I used to breed piggies and then over, I know this sounds absolutely ridiculous and a nightmare for anybody who loves animals, but I became deathly allergic to guinea pigs overnight. It was a day to night thing. And then I learned that you can become allergic to anything at any time for no reason whatsoever with no warning. You can wake and up. And she did. And I did. And I cannot be anywhere. I can't even go to a pet store with open top cages that have guinea pigs. Nope. But I, they're still like my favorite animal because I've had them for so long. So. How but your shop makes me happy. How to contact Etsy to, and really get the help that I need? Do their normal help things are the only we don't we don't work for Etsy, so we don't have any more ins than what you particularly have. All I can say is be consistent. Message them consistently. Make sure that your language is good. If you have a, if your English isn't very good, I can't tell from your message here. But if your English isn't very good, I would recommend maybe sending your message to a friend whose English is good so they can reword it for you. And don't that way. Don't they... harass. Like, don't be mad. Don't be angry yeah. in your messages. Don't don't be belligerent in any kind of way or what could come off as any other kind of way. Because you never know, like, what culture the person on the other side is. And they're not going to get in trouble for just deleting your messages if they think you were being mean. Yeah. So. Uh, provide as much information mm -hmm. as you can, but as concise as possible so that they can see it quickly and answer. Yes. And um, try to keep it short, too. Because I notice if you send long messages, they don't read them. Can, they will just swipe file you. Does anybody have... A uh, what what email address? Someone give me like the latest email address that you were able to use and get a hold of Etsy. Probably like support or help at Etsy.com. I think the one that we reached out to was support at Etsy. I think it was support at Etsy. And they, were, they replied to us. Yeah, don't take our word for it. Yeah, they sent me a swipe file. <laughs> Until you told them who you were. Until I told them who I was, but I, we're influencers in their right. industry. It's different. 
Did they, right when they found out who they were, they answered. Yeah, they sent me like some crappy little swipe file, and I was like, "Yeah, no, try again." They know they're very aware. <laughs> not, of not to be up my own butt, but try again because I got twenty thousand angry people sitting on the other side of this waiting for an answer. No, they know um, who we are. Discord too, a eh? uh, still learning. I looked at a few other discords in the last two weeks. That's what like how I injured my foot. I found a, a dance dance revolution group in Ohio that's like eight hundred plus people that all play in the same area. For those who don't know, he's insanely ridiculously like comically good at ddr mm -hmm. even as big as i am i'm still good at it he used to do it competitively for money mm -hmm. and he's like what's the movie is it grandma's boy where they do grandma's the, boy is it grandma's yeah. boy where they do the yeah the ddr uh, yeah that, that's that's him uh what are the months that you consider summer slump generally speaking has it uh started already and when have you seen traffic pick up again yeah for some people it has already started march to august Yep. Is is the is the standard March to August is typically when things start to, it, it, it's a ramp down. Um, by June, it's usually bottomed out. June July, it's at its lowest, and then August it kind of starts to climb. September it does better, and then October, November, and uh, front half of December are the best. November is the very best month, but because it takes sixty to ninety days to actually get your organic search placement from Etsy and build your listing quality scores up um, for new listings. Any SEO changes or things that you wanna do, do those now. That way it's it's done and you're already ranked for the holidays. If you do it now, then you know, you'll know you be ready. That's why we do Handmade Alpha Academy enrollment June 14th, because it gives alphas June, July, and August to bust through the program and be ready for the holidays. And that, when we have alphas enroll in the summer, that is when we get the like most success stories for November. We start getting all the people who say, oh my God, my Black Friday was so great. It's because they joined in the summer and they worked nonstop up until Black Friday. That was the, remember Paula Haas had like a $10,000 Black Friday. Mm -hmm. um, after And now she's just blown. Oh out. yeah. She's not even here anymore because she's just too busy. Oh God, no. she's She runs like a full scale company now with multiple employees, but it just goes to show you like, where to assign time. Um, don't twiddle your thumbs during the slow period because this is the best time to work. Uh, most sellers striking are not familiar with how Etsy works and how SEO works to so join something because you believe in it, not because of misinformation. Yeah, that's, that's great. It's a gang mentality. You see that a lot with American politics where people will just jump into something because they're mad about something and they don't take the time to actually like learn yeah. why something is the way that it is. It's just... That's that's the group mentality. Spend time learning. Go follow Etsy on LinkedIn and see what they're really... Etsy on LinkedIn, you will view them as a company, not as a retailer. If you follow yeah. them on Facebook, they're trying to help you know, promote the products. But on LinkedIn, they're serving as a company and you can see everything that they're doing behind the scenes. Um, and I love looking through their posts on LinkedIn because they do a lot. They really do. I know that it doesn't seem that way, but can... Etsy's a mass. Could you imagine? You've never four even. You've ne people. You'll never meet four million people in your life. Yeah. Like it's more people than you can even physically comprehend. It's more people. There are more than what four million people. What's what's like a? There are quite a few countries that don't have that many. Yeah, people. I was gonna say, give me a country. That, that Let's see. Okay, formally. thanks for your answer. Uh, I've just found you guys, so I was wondering if I was missing oh. anything particular with descriptions. Make okay. It say, make it personal. Some say others stick to the facts, etc. Stick to the facts with descriptions. Yeah. Um, I like to say right at the top, put a bulleted list of the most important facts right at the tippy top of your description because you know when you're on uh on desktop, have you ever seen how your like description kind of fades out and then you got to click show more. Anything that is important, put it before it starts to fade out on desktop. And then if you want to do the personal stuff towards the bottom, put it at the bottom. But just do a little bulleted list with the most important things, um, assuming that they will never click show more to see the full description. And don't worry about SEO optimizing it unless you want to try to rank on Google. I will say that how many times have you gone on Google and searched for something and gotten a singular Etsy listing? You don't. You will usually get an Etsy search page of products, but Etsy doesn't look at your descriptions to rank you on Etsy. It would only appeal to Google, and it's almost impossible to rank your Etsy listings on Google. So, yeah, a lot of people saying yes to Discord. Great, okay. great for eighteen plus people. Awesome. Yeah, and it's and Discord's nice for those of you that are eighteen plus sellers. 
Discord has the ability where you can have them type like, uh, like if they want to join a channel, they'll have to type like exclamation point NSFW and that the channels won't even be in their channel thing until they type that in and hit enter in a certain thing. Okay. And then it'll pop up that way. If people have kids that are on their computers or whatever, they can't accidentally stumble yeah. upon the not safe for work stuff. So um, I'm in a few like meme pages, meme groups mm-hmm. and stuff like that, where like you can't get into certain places unless you specifically request it. And sometimes they won't even tell you how to get in there. You have to like message moderator to add you manually, that kind of thing. Yeah. And I just got, I just got, an ad on Facebook for some type, I don't even know what it is, but it was something that helps you market sensitive content. Um, you know, if you find a lot of restrictions on social media because you sell like 18 plus products or products, you know, associated with, I don't know, like marijuana and things. Um, it, but I need to look more into it and see exactly what it is. But I, I saved it because I thought, wow, this would be a really cool thing to talk about for our, our 18 plus sellers. Yeah, I'm all about it. I'll look into it. Just kind of going through a lot of people talking about stuff. Crappy Craft just said, think of it like Facebook groups, but with live chats. Yeah, and it's cool because you can have it on your computer, your Mac, and your phone, and it's all one thing. And especially yeah. if you're not a Discord user and you want to be a part of the Alpha Discord, it'd be one of those things where you just open up the app and it's the first thing that pops up and like it's just there. Like you don't have to worry we about it. We can, else. and I know with Discord, you can pin like, we could pin a tutorial on like a quick, like how to use yeah, it. Yeah, we could pin a tutorial. I could even put a, a quick thing on like our Facebook in the, in the files yeah. and pin that somewhere. Discord's like old internet chat rooms. Yeah, yeah. kind of kind of like IRC chat or internet relay chat. Can anyone tell me why I keep seeing it's a 30% increase, but it's only going from 5 to 6.5%? Because people don't understand math. Yeah. Um, there. What's the... Somebody broke it down. Uh, Lori from Lori's Laboratory broke it down really well, but I can't remember why. I can't remember because I don't math well either. But everybody is saying it's 30%. It's not 30%. Um, yeah, they said 1.5% is 30% of, of 4.5%. It's misleading when phrased in post. Thank so yeah, you, that's, Rob. Yeah, it's not It's not a 30% increase. No. It's a 1.5% increase. Increased and it's not that much of an increase. And it's necessary. Everybody on Etsy is going to have to increase their prices to Everyone. accommodate. You're not like I this this is going to sound really really mean for all the people who are upset but like nobody's special in this. No Etsy's not yeah, saying No one's being excluded. Right. Etsy's not saying you are going to pay more than ever. No, everybody has to do it. And Etsy's still cheaper than any other marketplace. And yeah. if you don't like what Etsy's doing, Go to a different marketplace. Yeah. It's not a strike. You're not an employee of, the, of Etsy. At, at the end of the year, it's just an additional part to your write-off and your yes. fees that you pay for, for probably every country on the planet. So, yeah. Like, I understand anyway. it sucks, but everybody has to raise their so, prices to I, accommodate I it. received my first ugly, politically motivated email about a t-shirt that I have in one of my shops that's selling great through Google. Wish Etsy wouldn't charge 6.5% in addition to the 15%. I don't think that's Wait. how that... It's politically going. motivated email. So they probably got a, an email from somebody being pissed off oh. about political something or another. That's just something you got to deal with. People yeah. that it's b- blue and white collar people thinking they're entitled to their opinion and that anybody should care other than them. Yeah, just don't. I mean, if you're if you're selling anything political, you you're ha- gonna get crap for it. Yeah, just, just like I'll probably get crap below for something about- something I said in the joke earlier, but I don't care. It's it's I, fine. it's true. Let's say I went professional. I went from professional CNC player online to DDR in the arcades. I was good, but there was one kid that did all the contests. I didn't want to get. The, the, it was the same way with mine. There was a. I think he was Korean guy at the time, and then there was a guy. He was a. It was God. He had to have been like six foot five, three hundred and fifty pound dude that just won every competition because his feet were like this big and all he just stood like this. And all he had to do was like raise up one part of his foot. And he just did this. Like Baby, he, he, these, did, he didn't actually move. He just like tapped his feet. He was like tap dancing. These feet are made for dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly because he was like twice the weight of everyone in there and he won every competition. Aww, he was in. Our piggies are rescues. We don't breed. We promote. Oops. I was reading that. I'm sorry. Dad. We promote adoptions. All of our piggies have health issues. And when came from bad situation, we didn't think, he would last long. So when I say I bred piggies, <laughs> my piggies bred. <laughs> she bred- just didn't separate them and they made babies. Uh, no. They did, they did what so, they do. So I bred piggies 
because my piggies, um, they found ways to breed. And we also had a case where we had a piggy who we thought was a male and lived with a female piggy for like four years. And then somehow my female piggy um, and my, my other, it, it turned out that the other piggy was a female. And it was just a whole big thing. And then we adopted a piggy from a friend who was pregnant when we adopted her and we didn't know. And my mom came home from work and yelled at me because she was like, Starla, what did you do? <laughs> and I'm like, what? And she's like, there's baby pigs in here. I'm like, I didn't do it. She was, she, she carried her weight well when she was pregnant. So we, carried her weight well. Yeah. She was, she had a very nice physique for a piggy, but, um, but we ended up working with, um, you know, local um piggy people we have like you know before facebook groups and stuff we had just our piggy people who we all got together and talked about our piggies and they would take our all runoff right. piggies let's let's try to finish up here talking about piggies should you report trolls to etsy sure trolls if they're sending you mean messages yeah um absolutely because i mean anything and again we don't think star seller means anything it's just kind of a title but it's still going to mess your stuff up if people are sending you messages and you're not replying. So, yeah, yeah. If, especially if they're just being mean because you sell a, po a political product that they don't agree with. Yeah, just just I would report the conversation. Don't reply back to them. Um, just immediately report the convo to Etsy. Is I think they've got like an abuse section. And no, crappy crafter, we have not watched Vikings yet. I haven't had time. I've been working weekends i've been working every single day and we're very then. busy getting ha completely it's we've got to yeah. re-script it make new slides re-record edit it, we're it, it's gonna be a while yeah but we'll get into it i promise why does your hair look so nice today <laughs> did you get a blowout nope just, just did her hair and it's we've got this camera figured out well so it looks good no i dyed it this week i dyed it and when my when i dye my hair i do all the deep conditions and stuff but i just got out of the shower and blow dried it so it's it's very it's very clean and smooth right now. Video chatting our production days with an alpha discord. Yes. I mean, we could have video sections, voice sections, that kind of thing. That's the kind of stuff just gets out of control. So it'll be one of those things where we need like, we'll, we'll have a couple of people moderate. I know a couple of you are, are very fluent. We can, yeah. we can set memberships levels where people can't add or remove things, but they can moderate. Maybe do if, if anybody wants to volunteer to help moderate the alpha Discord. We've already had that. like three people oh, okay. volunteer. Yeah. Uh, That'd be fun. <clears throat> And when a live stream or new video comes out, Discord alerts actually work, unlike YouTube. No. Yes, they do. Discord will annoy the crap out of you if you don't <laughs> turn your notifications off. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, uh, mm. We are not employees okay. of Etsy. I made a we few TikToks about it. Yeah. It's not a strike. It's a boycott. And what? And like Amber Marie messaged me earlier talking about it. Because she's hosting a sale on the days when everybody's doing it. Um, her thing is, like, it's okay if you want to, like, not have your shop open on those days, if you want to do that. But it's the people who are, like, telling customers not to buy on Etsy Like, those you're days. hurting other people who literally depend on this to eat, so quit. I w <laughs> it, it's one of those things <laughs> where, quit. look, it's it's... You are very privileged in your business if you have the ability to take time off from Etsy and it not keep food out of your family's mm -hmm. mouths. Then either you make enough money off of your Etsy and offsite sales or don't need Etsy to make a living. But some people need it to make a living. So yeah. shut up. Yeah, don't take that away from other people who literally have to feed their kids with their Etsy money. Okay, crappy crap. If I say 50% goes to insert name charity, do I do 50% of the complete cost or only profits, not like the shipping fees, etc.? I think it depends. Depends on what you want to do. I don't think it necessarily matters. I always, I, I always did it with the after supply costs and stuff. Yeah. So you can do it either way. Mm -hmm. The like biggest way to look like the biggest pro ever is like all before supply costs and before taxes and all of that 50% because then not only are you giving to charity, you're also eating the cost of the tax and the supplies and that. stuff. It's not necessary. Uh, if you're a billionaire, do that. But after yeah. cost, after taxes, your your net, that fifty percent of the net that you make from that sale is what I would do. I would even do taxes before you take the fifty percent. Yeah, I and I mean if you have unless like, you can afford to eat the rest of the cost and 
But yeah. at that point, it's just for clout, and most people won't actually care or even understand what you're talking about. Not to mention for your taxes, you can't write off the full price of the item that you would have it like sold at. You can only write off the supply cost. Per, like if you do a giveaway, you can only write off the cost of supplies that it took you to make the item. Not, not the cost. Yeah, mm. we um. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, no, no tax advice. No, but talk to your accountants. We're not. <laughs> yeah, paid. talk to your accountants. We're not. Uh, tax USPS tax. is now charging a high surcharge, fifteen dollars for shipping mailing tubes. Uh, buyer are not going to pay twenty to thirty dollars shipping costs for photos and prints. This is going to kill print sellers. You might have to find a different print company, or there's a bunch of companies that we get ads for. I'm not going to advertise any specifically. Ooh, um, but per, sh uh, ship, ship, pirate, pirate ship, pirate ship. Uh, you can get cheaper from pirate ship. I, I experimented with them for the first time and I really like them. I want to show you guys a trick real quick while we're in our last few minutes. Let's see, no Vikings. Can y'all stop having lives? Selfish. Sorry. <laughs> Tina just said, oh, for her politically charged thing, she just replied back with an American flag. No. That's what I do. Um, Troll back in the nicest possible way you can. Not if you're going to report it to Etsy. Okay, so I want to show you guys something really quick. If you work with the USPS for your packages. USPS. This costs around um, $8 to ship, $7 to ship if you are going through like pirate ship and getting a discount. This is their flat rate mailer. No matter what, you can fit in here. It ships for good flat items. There's also a box that you can get from the post office and it's about the size of like a VHS tape. Mm -hmm. It's like one of their media boxes and it is $9 to ship. So it's a, I think it's a little over a dollar more to ship that than it is to ship one of these. I know a trick to make this bigger than the media mailbox um, that I learned on TikTok. So start using these if you use those media mailboxes. What's the particular size on these things? Because they have like 15 of these. These are the 12 and a half by nine and a half. This is the, um, the large flat rate envelope. Yeah. So take one of these, right? Mm -hmm. See, it's nice and thin. Fold along the red line right here. So you fold this way along the red line and you flip it over and you fold this way along the red line, right? Then you pop the bottom flat. This And now you have a small box. This officially holds more than the media mail box does, the small VHS tape size box. The VHS tape size box actually fits inside of this. Uh -huh. And this is cheaper. And you're allowed to do this. Um, I have to, I've been doing this with my books. My hardback books used to not fit in these all the way when I would mail them. Um, and well, I now learned, they do. And now they do. I learned okay. a trick and now they do. So now something new that you learned. Save yourself a dollar. Speaking of the new HAA update, will there be a point when the site is down for maintenance or it's a new site entirely? Okay, so the site should never technically go down. Um... The only time the site will go down is when SiteGround, who is our server host, has server maintenance, but we have a guaranteed, I think it's 99.7% uptime. Um, so it should only go down for like a few minutes a year. However, what we're doing is building the website. Essentially, it's its own thing in the background. And then when the website is finished, I will hit push to live. And it will, little by little, update the code to the new website and publish everything. Some things during that day should be less than a couple of hours, could be up to a max of two days. Some things may not work correctly. Some things may look weird. Some things may act weird. You might not be able to sign in just as the system is updating because it is a full website redo. However, the majority of our website, like our videos, are not hosted on our website. They're hosted on Vimeo and they're just linked over. So none of that stuff really has to update other than the link. So hopefully it should only be a couple of hours. And more than likely, if you are on the old version of the website, you will probably have, some of you will probably have to clear your cookies and cash in order to be able to see the new website because your computer has a system built in, cookies, 
and it stores web pages for faster access. So some of the web pages just flat out won't work for you until you cl clear your cookies and cache. So I'm super ready for that customer support nightmare. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there shouldn't be any downtime in between. If there is, it should only be a couple of hours and it shouldn't be fully down. It should just be some things looking a little wonky. And we'll all. send emails. And pushing things to live, there's like a guarantee that something's going to break. So, <laughs> so if, if, if it completely breaks, I always make a... Uh, ba basically, I cache the current version of the website before I put the new version in. That way, if it completely breaks, I can just push the original version back to where it was and then go fix whatever caused the problem. This is the cool thing about uh, joining HAA, though, is that a lot of the people that you're seeing in here talking about it, they've been members forever. And once they pay, they're in it for life. They're in. And if you have any issues, like, I try my best to fix it immediately. And I've never had anything catastrophically go bad. So, so all these updates that we're making, they get all that for free. Mm -hmm. Everything that they get's included. It's called a staging site. It's basically a version of our website that sits on a private part of the internet that you don't have access to without a password and I update it and when it's done I just hit go live and it deletes the original version that was up and puts the new version up like it slowly updates everything hi uh we still have a question up here oh okay uh, exactly uh, don't tell people not to stop because you hurt us not Etsy hate Etsy go use another platform exactly I think I'm going to follow Pam and put on a sale during a boycott. I think it's a great idea. I do, too. Yeah. It's the NG comment. Why doesn't Etsy let me update my EIN? You need to contact Etsy. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea why they won't let you. <laughs> if you need an HA tester for when you go live, feel free. If everyone you? everyone that's already a member is a tester. And if it breaks, I'm sure at least one of the like 800 of you will message me very angry <laughs> that you're not able to watch the thing that you're watching. Yeah, you'll you'll all be our testers. In fact, we'll probably send you all an email that says, hey, go wild on the website and let us know if anything looks weird. Let's see. I'm late to the chat. What are the days that people are actually boycotting? I might run a sale. Uh, if you Google it, you'll uh, find it. It's all over the place. April, what, 16th to the 18th? 11th to the 18th? Somebody knows. Put it in the chat if you know. It's something like that. You can tell how little I care about it because I'm not paying attention to any of it. If you find time to talk about reserve account, please. It's been more than three months and I struggle to keep up with the materials of orders. Uh, should I contact Etsy to do something? I would, yeah, that's what I would do. Yeah. Again, yeah. we don't we don't work for Etsy. We don't know how their internal systems work, and it seems like their rules are kind of iffy on how that all stuff works. Payment reserve. Yeah, it seems like they don't really know what they're doing with it, as far as I can tell. So I would just contact them and ask them, ask them like, when are you going to take the reserve off of my account? Yeah. What can I do to lift the reserve off of my account yeah. because it's costing me money because I'm paying? I can, yeah, I can no longer keep up with my orders. I can no longer get supplies to make more orders. But it looks like we are at the end of our questions. Perfect at 1.30. So 11th through the 18th. Awesome. 11th through the 18th for April. Cool. All right, guys, a couple little quick things. Make sure that you tune in on Tuesday because I'm doing a video on copyright. It's really important if you have any copyright items in your shop. This includes things that say inspired by or things that say fan art of or anything that you did not personally come up with in your head that does not exist within the public domain, which would be things that are, I looked it up, I think it's 95 years. Um, if you Glory. are, if you're doing celebrities, song lyrics, poems, uh, books, book characters, things, you know, you shouldn't be doing, but you're doing anyway, because it's everybody does it. Yeah. Um, Etsy's, everybody's about to not do it. <laughs> Etsy just made it easier than ever to get you in trouble. So I'm going to be covering that in this Tuesday's video. One thing I did want to point out is I know that we have a lot of alphas who do kind of bookish shops. I was looking into it. Sarah J. Moss, author of Court of Thorns and Roses, Throne of Glass, Crescent City. Licensing with her is super duper easy. She has, she is like one of the easiest to license with companies I have ever seen. So look into Sarah J. Jay Moz's licensing if you're interested in actually doing any merch for hers or her series. It would and if you plan to do that with the Court of Thorns and Roses uh Hulu adaptation coming out in the next few years, I would recommend getting your licensing now because if she's it's allowing, gonna get a lot harder or, afterwards. Exactly. Get that licensing now so you're safe if you're wanting to make those products. I'm super excited for that series. He and I just read the whole series. I read it twice, mm. but we just read it getting ready for that. Um, but I also did a little bit of research into what licensing is like for the NFL. 
let me just say right now that you don't have the money to do it. So No, and, you don't. And and they do sue. And that'll be covered in this Tuesday's video as well, which I'm gonna record today after we're done with the stream. Mm -hmm. so. And they did and they really did make it easier. It's not just like a slightly easier. It's like people like Disney are gonna be able to go in and just destroy any shop that has yeah. anything of theirs from now on. Like yeah. it's yeah. What, um, what is it supposed what's the boycott supposed to accomplish? So it's the increase in fees. Yes. They want that going. Which, but they also want more support. They want more support for the sellers. They want their tickets to be resolved faster. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, no, no, don't increase your fees, yeah, but, but hire more people. Um, so, like I said, follow them on LinkedIn if you want to see how many people they're hiring. They're hiring a ton. Uh, they want the Star Seller program gone, which, yes. yeah, Star Seller program is silly, but it doesn't do anything. And the reserve program, which we understand we don't like the reserve program either, but it's there to protect the buyers, not the sellers. Yeah. Um, and then there was another there was another part of that that was real big. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Yeah. I there was another there was another big thing that they. Uh, I can't remember. I don't know off the top of my head. Would love to know more about how you schedule your time to be able to accomplish that. And very, I'm not healthy. Um, <laughs> I work all day until like midnight and I don't spend any time with my family until like right at the end of the day. And he and I sit and we watch TV. Right now, I do not want anyone to do what I'm doing trying to get this re-record of HAA done because I'm not going to the gym. I'm not eating right. I am working way too much. I'm very cranky. I'm not getting enough sleep. And then I have days where I've I've missed out on so much sleep that like today I just had to sleep all morning. Yeah, we to just catch napped up. until like 1030. Yeah. So Eventually, I would love to. I use... Here, I'll grab it real quick while we're finishing up. What? My planner. Your planner. My planner. I bought on Amazon. I know. I should have bought it from an Etsy seller, but I didn't know if it was something I would keep up with. Next year, I'll get an Etsy one, but it was one of those things I just wanted to experiment with to see if I'd actually do it, and I ended up liking it. Um, I bought the Legend Planner on Amazon. I really like it because at the beginning it allows you to write out like all of your like your goals, things that you want to do that year. Um, I always schedule out my full month ahead of time and then it's broken down like this is this week. <laughs> this is just the things that I need to do this week. That's what it was. Yeah. Offside ads. That was the last thing that people were protesting, Opti which I'm all for protesting that. However, it's not the way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> that's not stopping selling is not the way to make etsy hurt though that's just you're gonna yeah. help them if anything yeah i like i don't like offside ads no but that's... no one likes offside ads but well i mean i'm not gonna say no one because some people did benefit from it but yeah um but every sunday night i set aside about an hour to fill out my <laughs> planner and everything that i need to do and i do everything on paper so that's how I stay organized in terms of the hours that I spend. I'm really unhealthy right now, and I hope nobody does what I'm doing. I'm just doing it because I'm in a time crunch. So, yeah. But that's pretty much it for this week. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Click the bell icon if you got the YouTube app and want to get notified whenever we go live. Uh, click the like button if you like the video. Drink some water. Call somebody you love that you haven't spoken to in a while. Yeah. And uh, look out for the video on Tuesday. If you sell copyright materials, especially, you're not going to want to miss it. Yeah, we're going to we're going to cover everything and hopefully help you guys and make sure that, you know, you guys feel confident about getting rid of products that are going to end up hurting your your business. So, yeah, I but guess. we love you guys and we'll see you.